today's webisode about Barbie makeup. Um, you know, I was thinking to myself, what could be the topic? What do I want to talk about? And I realized, of course, I want to do makeup. And um, I think that Barbie makeup's fun because now that I have my hair extensions, I'm feeling a little bit like Barbie. So why not do makeup to match? But I'm going to have this be amped up doll makeup. And it's going to be quick. So, you know, if you have any questions, you can either ask them below or you could email them to info at theglamfairy.com and I'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, this look is going to be very easy to create. I'm going to keep it minimal steps. So, you know, just try, just try to keep up the pace. Um, a quick few thank yous that I would like to uh, shout out. Number one, I would like to thank Maggie Proper from properhairextensions.com for giving me these amazing tape extensions. Um, you know, there are three tones. They're so great, and uh, I've really been enjoying them. So, Maggie, thank you. Um, I have to thank Danielle B. Jewelry for my Diamonds of the Week. This is... I think this is six carats. Um, these are even bigger diamonds. So they're actually bigger diamonds, but they're less carats. Um, so I'm so excited about this, this and the matching earrings. And um, of course, Samantha Sparkles, who made my glam phone. Um, it's so beautiful. It's pink and crystally. And um, Alex at clubzone.fm, who is my manager. And is responsible for, you know, Alexa Prisco, not the Glam Fairy. And um, that's it. So let's get started. I'm basically going to clip my bangs back first. Make sure you have a nice clean face. Now I'm going to take a sponge and remove any extra moisture content from my eyelids. Um, on the entire face you have sebaceous glands, but from the orbital area inward you don't. However, the heat of your eyeball draws oil inward, so using a base prevents that activity from happening. I'm going to do base on both eyelids. Okay. And I'm going to smooth it out. And then take a sponge and buff it out. So. I'm going to be using um, a lot of my more fun, playful makeup today, um, and that's what's going to help me create this look. So first I'm going to take Medusa makeup, and I'm actually going to use this fun purple color. It's called, um, <laughs> I was actually going to say that the color is called Cruelty Free. Um, it's just a purple sparkly color. It's really pretty. It's glittery. And the eye base is on, and I'm basically just going to take this purple color and I'm going to place it in my crease. And again, this is a really quick look. So you can do these inspired looks and you could do them fast. We have our crease. We have our crease. Um, just so you guys know, Glammy Puss Photo is a new portion of my business. And essentially what it is, is it is the opportunity for a girl to come into my flat in Hoboken, which is my glammy space, and you get your makeup done, you get your hair done, and then I take these amazing, sexy photos of you. And that's a base package, and then from there you have all different options of books and styling, things like that. So email me at info at if you want more information. So we've applied the crease color, which is this really pretty kind of purple shade, and now I have all my Medusa makeup in this um, bin here. So now I'm going to take um, a purple pigment, actually, and I'm going to lose the edge. So basically, um, this is the pigment. This is the pigment. It's this really nice purple. And I'm going to tap it out and just kind of buff it and buff it and then you have your crease color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be creative here. I can't find my glitter base from Medusa which is actually amazing but I'm going to do a trick. When in doubt, do a trick. So I'm going to take Mist and Fix from Makeup Forever and I'm going to spray my synthetic brush and I'm going to dip it in the glitter so that it sticks on and then 
I'm going to tap the eyelid with it. And it should be enough wetness to cover both eyes. Perfect. Beautiful. And it's just going to kind of be a sheer layer on top of the pink. Um, now, take your oil of Olay wipe and do your slice. My slice is in nearly every video, so basically you're just creating a nice line that goes like this. And you want to make sure, especially with glitter, that you get all that extra off. But now, the cool part is, is that, um, you know, your eye, your eye is created. So now it's time for liner. And liner can be a little tricky. So basically, I'm going to bring my laptop a little bit closer to me. And I'm going to use um, my new amazing favorite eyeliner which is um, the Super Slick Liquid Liner from uh, MAC. And I'm going to basically remember the box. It You have an almond-shaped eye. Picture a box around it. So you go thicker on the outside and taper it in. Don't go higher than the box in the center because then you're doming out the eye and it looks weird. So basically... I'm applying my liner a little bit more dramatically. To the eyelid. And unlike some of my other looks, I'm actually not going to um lose the edge on this because I want it to be very plasticky looking. Almost editorial. So that is one eye. And you always want to back up to make sure that things are even. Um, now here's the other eye. You always want to make tiny strokes because if you make one big stroke and put all that pressure on yourself, even I would mess it up. So by doing tiny strokes and connecting them, you're much better off. And then here, pressure lift up. That flick is integral when you're trying to make a little point. And you want to kind of always look back and forth and see how you did the liner on the other side. See how far it's jetting out, stuff like that. So I always lean back to make sure it's even. It looks like this guy needs a little bit more attention. Here and here. Looks a little too thick, wait. Or maybe it's just the angle of the mirror. Here, actually, let's just make it a little thicker on this side, here, and then here. So now, this is super duper Barbie. We got to let this dry, and when you're letting liner like this dry, you want to keep your head leaning back. The right way. I don't want to have a big half moon. So anyway, I'm going to take Matt. MAC LW300, which is a really nice light foundation, and I'm going to squirt it onto this part of my hand, and I'm going to mix it with the AMC Face and Body Illuminator, uh, because I want the foundation to have this really amazing sparkle to it. And then I'm going to mix it together with a 190 brush from MAC, <clears throat> and I'm going to apply it to my whole face. Then I'll get to my concealer and stuff like that. I'm purposely, you know, keeping it kind of light because I'm a light girl, but I also like that plasticky look and it makes the uh, contours all the more prominent when you go a little bit lighter. And then also some cultures, lightness, the lighter the skin, the paler the skin, um, you know, if you look at sometimes geisha girls or... Um, you know, Indian pop culture magazines, they'll have their face a couple shades lighter than the rest of their body. Um, so sometimes it's a very beautiful uh, kind of alabaster porcelain look to do. 
I love bronzer, <laughs> don't get me wrong, but sometimes, you know, you can create a different kind of look. So, I've buffed this mixture all over the face. Again, it was a combination. It was basically two squirts of the Inglot foundation and then the illuminator because the illuminator mixed in really gives it a nice sheen. So, I buffed this in and now it's time for concealer. And how about the corrector from Photogenique? by Lancome. It's a pop concealer. It's really nice and it's moussey. So I'm going to put this underneath the eye. I'm going to have it match up with the wing. And then buff it. Buff it. Go back to your foundation sponge and sort of work that out there. I'm going to take this really nice Medusa color. It's a black sparkly color and I'm gonna load up um, this Medusa brush and I am going to take this black color where the liner meets the rest of the lid and I'm just gonna lose that edge. And that immediately makes me feel better because it uh, it gives the line a little bit more balance. So we've done that. And now again to this eye here, just buff it out. It's looking good. For a white liner, I found it. And I'm gonna line the inside of my eye with white because that's a super dollish thing to do. So I'm gonna take white liner. Put it on the inside of my eye. Don't want it to look like chalky, but I want it to look open. So we have that. I'm gonna dip my brush in the Medusa eyeliner sealer. There we go. You could even tap it out, fill it up, excess. And now here is the powder from the Medusa pigment of the purple that I applied um, from the area that introduced the crease to there. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it underneath the waterline here. And that is going to really open up the eye. And again to the other side. And wow, that looks great. It's just so over the top. And now I'll again bring the black back in. Put a little bit on the outer part here, here, and here. And you want to make sure that these are two separate. You don't want to be mixing it into the wing. You know what I mean? You want to make sure that they're two, two separate things. Um, and so then I'm going to bring some sparkle in, of course. And I'm just going to put that in the tear duct area which would be there and here. I'm gonna take my liner, my liquid liner, and I'm going to, on the bottom part of the eye, I'm going to go like this. One, two. And I'm creating almost twiggy fake bottom lashes. One, two, three. And you want to make sure that you're flicking. That basically means vroom. And what that does is it makes 
a point on the on the skin. One, two, three. So there you go. And now we're just going to do our finishing steps. So we need some bronzer and some powder. So first I'm gonna use some Stay Matte Powder. And this is actually from Rimmel. And I'm gonna apply this to the high points of the face, forehead, nose, and cheeks. And this is gonna set the foundation. Now I'm gonna use some NYC bronzer. And I'm going to apply this to the high points of the face, forehead, nose, and cheeks, here and here. And now I am going to use my E Live from the Red Carpet palette. And I'm going to take a fan brush and I'm going to use my Kitten All Over Face Shimmer. It's a super pretty color. Um, it's like this really light, bright, shimmery kind of shade. So I'm going to apply that to my cheekbone here and here. Really load it on. You know, you could even wet it if you wanted to show up more. So that's that. Um, and now I want a bright blush. Bright, bright blush. So I'm going to mix... From the Diana Ross collection from MAC, I'm going to mix that with a mineralized blush. Um, you know, you could use eyeshadow, anything that you have at home to create it. But here's two really uh, bright pink shades. So I'm going to take those. And we need some bronzer and some powder. So first I'm going to use some Stay Matte Powder. And this is actually from Rimmel. And I'm going to apply this to the high points of the face, forehead, nose, and cheeks, and this is going to set the foundation. Now, I'm going to use some NYC bronzer, and I'm going to apply this to the high points of the face, forehead, nose, and cheeks, here and here. And now, I am going to use my E Live from the Red Carpet palette, and I'm going to take a fan brush, and I'm going to use my Kitten All Over Face Shimmer. It's a super pretty color. Um, it's like this really light, bright, shimmery kind of shade, so I'm going to apply that to my cheekbone here and here. Really load it on. You know, you could even wet it if you wanted to show up more. So that's that. Um, and now I want a bright blush. Bright, bright blush. So I'm going to mix from the Diana Ross collection from MAC. I'm going to mix that with a mineralized blush. Um, you know, you could use eyeshadow, anything that you have at home to create it. But here's two really uh, bright pink shades. So I'm going to take those. And we're going to do the silly smile. So the silly smile, as you guys know, is when I super, super smile. And that way you'll find my cheekbones. So load it up with the pink. Load it up with the pink. Pink, pink, pink. Super smile. And I'll do this side. Wait, this side. This side. No. Yeah. There. One side. One, two, three. See your smile. Okay, so that allows you to find the contour, right? And now we're buffing it out, thank God. Um, otherwise, I'd look a little bit like Courtney Love. So, you know, you're supposed to over blush with this because it's about finding the, uh, the bone. That's where your brush will guide you. So get off of the apple. That's the main thing that you want to do. And then take your bronzer brush or your buffing brush and just get all that out of there. You're just looking for um, you know, a hint of blush. And you could even go over with your uh, foundation brush and just kill out the areas that you don't like. So there and there. 
I really like the blush to be defined, so that's why I'm doing an undercut like that right there. And then, of course, I'm buffing it out, and I'm buffing it out. So it's coming along good. Um, again, I'm going to do a different, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a dust nail blush, and I'm going to mix it with a little powder here so that it hazes into the cheek highlight. Or I'm going to do a few coats of mascara, so bear with me. It's hot mascara. And I think we should do lashes. Bottom mascara. Now the bottom mascara is automatically going to look a lot fuller because you have a bunch of fake liquid lashes down there. And again, on this side, this is my Lights Camera Action um, by Tarte. It is my all-time favorite mascara. You need to go get it. It's like waterproof. It's, you know, meltdown proof. It's great. I'm so sorry you can't see me applying. Okay. And it's so great because if you want to get, use the point of it, you know, you can really see what you're doing. So that's looking great. And now it is time for the PS3 Resistance, the hot pinks. Um, so here's my NARS lip liner. It's a hot pink. It really, um, there, one side, there's your lip liner. Now, your lipstick. This is going to be fun. This is, um, this is my MAC, um, I think that this is, what collection is this? Heatherette. So, I have to use this sparingly because that line is no longer out and it's an amazing line. So, there is the lipstick. And now I have to do a little bit of lip color, so I'm going to do this pretty pink. And, you know, you're distorting your face here. So obviously I look different than, you know, I would with bronze eyeshadow and like a smile. So tear ducting is such a great fun thing to do. It basically just brings a little bit of shimmer to the interior panel of your eye. Um... So basically, I just am going to take a nice fluffy brush and I'm going to take this white eyeshadow because I'm so pale that it's going to be okay. And I'm going to kind of load it up and I'm going to put it on the inside of this eye. There we go. And I'm going to put it here and then once again up here and here. And that's just going to give a nice sparkle. So I've added that and then the final step would be O-Glow. Oh gloss, which is a, it's a nice pink gloss. So then, the eternal trick here, and then you just wipe off the excess, and then another. Got my oh glow. Don't fear. <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna take the oh glow. I'm gonna put it on my. Uh, I'm gonna put it on my hand, and then I'm just gonna take it on two fingertips and I'm gonna carefully buff it onto the cheeks and I almost feel like it's mood blush and it just sort of morphs itself to you know whatever kind of color you're feeling and can buff off the excess. It's not something that's like really like cakey and annoying. It's really nice. Uh, so I would get that. I would get the Oglo and the uh, the Oglo gloss and the Oglo cheek. Um, and now the final step, second to final step is my eyebrows. So basically I'm going to take lingering pencil and
Start with the outside hairs and the top hairs. Top hairs. And box off in here. So that's one eyebrow. And there's another eyebrow, looking good. And I always kind of like to have the uh, the top part um, a little bit dramatized. But yeah, this is perfect for me. For me, may not be good for somebody else. And then I'm going to take a spoolie, buff it out, buff it out again with a brush, brush right here. And uh, I'm going to do um, a really nice light white shade to lift up the brows. Um, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Amazing Palette that I got at wintertime. Still is wintertime. Here we go. Look at that bad boy. And it actually opens up New York City. And I'm going to take, it's called, it's called Uzi. And I'm just going to put it right underneath my eyebrow. I'm going to take the end of a brush. And basically, take your lashes. You want to hold them in the groove of your thumb. Hold them up. Blow it out a little bit, and you want to make sure that they're almost dry, and then pop them on the eye. Marilyn Monroe used to do what's called a lazy set, and basically she would put the eyelashes on when they were like three quarters dry, and then push them down so that they reflected on her cheekbone and you would see like all the little lash sprigs. So that's what Marilyn did. And again, put your glue. You know, if you do too lazy of a set, you'll look like Anna Nicole Smith VMAs. Um, RIP. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put, here we go. And then just push that little bad boy down. And looking good. I'll take you guys to watch me fix my hair. So come with me. Not like you have a choice, but as you can see, when it gets darker, I get more attractive. Um, basically, I wanted you guys to come here because this is where my comb is. And I have uh, these really blunt cut bangs. Maggie cut them for me. I initially had them uh, cut at, um, at John Barrett, but um, they didn't do exactly what I wanted. So Maggie really nailed it down and you can get your extensions done with Maggie at uh, properhairextensions.com. So I'm gonna flip over and I'm just gonna run my fingers through my extensions. And then I'm gonna go like this, fluff them up, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of powder, this like volumizing powder stuff that she gave me in my hair. And that'll give me like a little bit of like fluff. <laughs> now keep in mind my hair is not like perfect, but here I can take you to one more. Ah, that's actually good. So we fixed my hair <laughs> and now I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara to the lashes and we're done.
your set. Um, if you have any white areas where there's glue, you can always go in with your um, liquid liner and cover them up because it just kind of, um, it allows you to track it. That's what I call it. So. I'll do my Laura Geller mascara. It's pretty and it'll be good for the lashes. So you want to put mascara on the lashes because it'll keep your eyes nice and open. And then there you go. So this look I like to call Glammy Barbie because it's inspired by Barbies. And oh, maybe I should show you my Barbie just so you could see what I'm talking about. I have a Barbie lamp and I have a Barbie doll. This is my Barbie lamp. So much fun. Let me turn it off so you can see. I'll put this lamp on and then there. So there's my Barbie lamp. And here is my favorite Barbie. It's my Christian Louboutin Barbie. Um, but basically she has pink eyeshadow on. So I figured why can't I? Um, so I'd like to call this the Glammy Barbie look, it's again, very easy. We have a purple eyeshadow in the crease. We have a pink eyeshadow on the lid. All the colors are from Medusa Makeup. I have a white brow highlight, and then I have a liquid top liner, and I use the MAC Super Slick Liquid Liner. On the bottom, I use the Shiseido White Liner in the uh, waterline to open up the eye. And then I took the Medusa Eyeliner um, Sealer, and I dipped it in purple pigment and I buffed it underneath the eye to open up the eye. I added a little bit of black on the outside so that it pulls the eyes this way. I mixed the Inglot foundation with an Inglot face illuminator and I buffed it all over the face with a 190 brush. Um, from there, I took the Lancome concealer in the... Uh, I think it's the photogenic, I'm pretty sure. And I put it underneath my eyes and I dragged it on top of the cheekbones to kind of emphasize the highlight there. From there I did um I did Rimmel powder and NYC bronzer on the high points of my face. And then I mixed two hot pink MAC blushes and I did the super smile and I applied it um in the rivets of my cheeks. Then I did Kitten, which is an all-over body shimmer by Stila on my cheekbones. For my lips, I used a hot pink liner from NARS. And then I used the Heatherette Bright Pink Lipstick. And then I did um, Medusa Pink Gloss. And then I did Oglo Gloss. And then I did Oglo on my cheeks. Um... Another trick I did was I took liquid liner and I created fake bottom lashes and then I did side lashes and then I filled in my eyebrows. Um, I did my hair for you guys just so I don't look like a hag and that's pretty much it. Um, typically I do looks and time lapse and then I blog about it but I figured by slowly creating the look and doing something a little bit more simple and having you guys follow along it would be a lot easier. So I hope that this is easy for you guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, again, this look is called Glammy Barbie. And I don't know, I think it's a fun Saturday night look. And um, if you're doing what I'm doing on this hot, sexy Saturday, you're going to be eating popcorn and watching movies. <laughs> All right, have a nice night, guys. And I hope you like this look. Let me know what you think. And uh, check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash theglamfairy. Bye.